Hey Gorge, what's up? Happy you could join us today. Welcome to my channel. My name is Holly Lenora and today's video we are doing, well what do you know? It's another fall look. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Not I. <laughs> gotcha. If you know me, you know I love some fall. This is simple, it is easy, it is for sure beginner friendly, but what I will say is it is gonna take you probably a little bit longer than your normal, you know, done. I don't know what that was, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying, girl. But with that being said, also the more you practice it, the quicker you get. So I guess I'm telling you that because I'm not gonna put in the title that this is like quick, super fast, look like a million bucks, look like a, a pumpkin spice, you know, no, it'll take you a little bit of time. Not long though, not like an hour. You know what, you'll see what I'm saying. I just, you know, you know me. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family. All things happy, all things positive. Also, quick thank you guys for keeping it that way. You guys are so sweet to me, love it. Don't know what I did to deserve it, but mwah, to you guys as we climb our way up to 10K subscribers, that's really freaking awesome. Anyway, okay. Here we go. I had to get up close so you guys could see what we're, what we're working with today. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey y'all, <laughs> what's up? Sorry to interrupt. Well, sorry, not sorry. I am interrupting because I have something really important and special, I think, to share. We are now into the month of October, which is beautiful. We've got Halloween, we've got fall all coming up before you know what the holidays will be here but not to forget October is also breast cancer awareness month so I was absolutely thrilled and honored when Rose Forever reached out to me and asked me if I would spread the word about breast cancer awareness I said I would be happy to do so I'm absolutely flattered Rose Forever very kindly sent me this nine count of light pink roses from their pink suede collection. It is absolutely adorable. It makes a great piece for your coffee table, for your island kitchen or your kitchen table, something to put on your vanity or nightstand. They have so many different colors to choose from, different sizes, and they smell absolutely lovely. Like they're so fresh. They last up to a year. So you will be able to have them until next October and the beautiful thing about this purchase is Rose Forever has teamed up with the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and every pink rose bouquet that they sell, they will donate towards the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which is absolutely mind-blowing, fabulous. This would make a great gift, a great decor piece. If you just wanna gift yourself a little something something, this would be perfect. And I actually have a code for you. You can use the link down below in the description box and I will also put it on the screen here. It will get you $20 off of your pink bouquet. Not only are you getting a good deal and they last you a year, but you are helping for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and that is absolutely, it's so amazing. So thank you so, so much for your purchase, for being aware of breast cancer. It is a serious thing and whatever we can do to help is greatly appreciated, I am sure of it. So I really hope that you can join me, Rose Forever, and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation in the International Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Your purchase would mean a lot. Looking like a fallen, crunched up, stepped on, leaf. That's what I'm titling this video. Okay, let's get right into this. Let's acknowledge this hair real quick. And also the fact that I'm wearing this really cool large oversized hoodie and I love it. I'm obsessed. It's just plain black, but it is the most comfortable, like it's lightweight. It's from ASOS, A-S-O-S, and it was on, and, okay, rabbit child, just like that every time. Pick up your soft glam palette or your favorite palette with autumn, fall, beautiful colors and let's get started sister. Okay so this palette is an oldie but goodie. They do still sell it and I would highly 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 recommend getting this palette or they even have the 
the Norvina palette that is the same texture like this. It's fabulous as well, but we are going to use three shades out of this palette and three shades only. The first shade I'm going to go in with is this orange soda right here at the top. I'm going to take my favorite crease brush from Urban Decay. This is the... E210, I should totally have that memorized by now. And I'm gonna go right in and pick up quite a lot of pigment because this shade on my skin doesn't show up that well unless I pack it on. So I'm not even gonna tap off the excess. What I'm gonna do is I've picked up a lot as you can see and I'm just going to press it onto my brow bone on the inner corner of my eye pretty much right underneath my brow, like the whole brow. Going out past that tail end, going back in to that burnt orange, no, not burnt orange. There is a burnt orange on the palette though. So if you're using this palette, x -day burnt orange, we're going into orange soda. Boy, why do they put those two so close to each other? Okay, picking up the pigment and I'm still just pressing it on. And for this to show up to my liking on my skin, and I'm also bringing it down to that outer corner of my eye. But for this to show up as like orangey folly as I wanted it to, I really had to go in like five or six times with this much pigment on my brush to get it to my liking. So you get it to your liking with however many times you need to do it. So you guys can see that color. It is a beautiful, beautiful orange. But I'm gonna pack some more on because I really want it to show. And with this mulberry color right here, it diffuses the orange, so that's why I'm adding even more. And you can see this whole time, I literally just packed it on. I didn't do much swirling or buffing. I'm just packing on that color. And next, we're going to stick to that same color, that orange soda, and we're going to go into with a different brush. This is the Morphe M431, and we're just going to take the side of it, pick up pigment from that same color, and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line, being sure to connect what I've done on the top with the bottom. Again, I'm not tapping off any of the excess. And a lot of the reason I'm not is because of my skin tone. If you are lighter than me or more fair, you may want to tap off a little bit. It just depends on how this color shows up on your skin. And with this motion, I am packing on as well as kind of blending it out and pulling it down. Okay, so this is what we should look like by now. Orange. Orange soda all around our eyes. Now we are going to go in with a different shade. We are going to go in with Mulberry. It is such a beautiful... The brush fell. Okay. It is such a beautiful, perfect burgundy. Like, it is a perfect fall color. I am obsessed. This is a just knock out of the park color for this. Uh, it's stunning. Mulberry, that's the next color. I'm going in with, once again, a fluffy crease brush, but it is not as fluffy as the Urban Decay pre uh, Urban Decay crease brush. This is from Bling Brushes, and it is the E3. And I'm just going to take just a little dip into it, but I am going to tap off the excess of this one. And with this color, I am literally, like, I'm going to place it right in the crease, and I'm just placing the pigment on the outer crease because that's where I want the most pigment like so and as it is placed that's when I'm gonna start swirling and buffing just going like right into the crease bone like literally into the crease bone sorry if that grossed you out I'm gonna raise my eyebrows so that way I can get the whole outer lid and pull it down to the outer corner and I'm going to do my looking down trick because I have hooded eyes. And that helps so much when it comes to blending and buffing my lid. I'm going to sweep it in a little bit. So you can see how the color, of course, is lighter on the inner corner than it is on the outer corner. And that's why we placed the pigment first where we wanted most of the pigment. And then we buffed it out. 
if that makes any sense. Okay, now we are done with the E3 brush. We're gonna stick with the same color, that mulberry, beautiful mulberry, and we're gonna pick up a different brush. This is the Morphe M508. It is a very short but precise smudge brush. It is great for smoking out that lower lash line, and that's exactly what we're gonna use it for. Once again, same shade, mulberry. Gorgeous shade, gorgeous. Pick up a little pigment, tapping off. And we're gonna start at the outer corner, place the pigment and move it a little more than halfway into the inner corner, a little past the pupil, if you will. Placing the pigment first. Be sure to connect the top mulberry color with your lower lash line and sweeping it inside. Moseying right along. We are going into the last color, the last eyeshadow color. We're gonna go in with this very light, gorgeous shade. This is a matte, very light, pale shade. I love this shade. It comes in handy, especially for looks like this one. It's called Tempura. I'm gonna take a Morphe M433, pick up some pigment, and I'm just gonna start with on the inner corner of my eye and push it out into the mulberry color. See the difference that makes? I mean, that, come on, that is beautiful. And just for funsies, I'm gonna go back into orange soda and press a little more. You don't have to do this, I just want to. I love that orange color. And I definitely want this to look folly. Definitely. See, not hard at all. Now I'm gonna take this nude eyeliner pencil. This is from Nabla. I love this pencil. I talk about this pencil often. I'm just going to put it on my waterline and that's really going to brighten and widen our eyeballs. And this next step is also optional. Well, all it's optional, but I would recommend doing this over the nude eyeliner color because it's going to make that transition from your falsies to your real lashes much more smooth. I'm gonna go in with this gel liner from Tarte in the shade black, and I'm just gonna put it on the upper inner corner. It will make sense as to why I did that in just a second. Go in with some mascara before we put on our falsies. Okay, mascara is on. Now we're gonna go in with some falsies. Of course, you could stop with just mascara if you wanted to, but I picked these up from Walmart. These are the Kiss Lashes 100% Natural Hair, and I think they're like $3. <laughs> yeah. These are called Ritzy. I love that it is short on the inner corner and then it elongates your eye. Get that cat eye effect by branching out and fluttering out on the outer corner. I love that about these. And, not to mention how small the band is on these lashes. Really, really helps for that natural, is she wearing falsies? Look. I'm gonna go in with the Eyelore London 18 hour lash glue. This is also drugstore. Ta-da! Now we've got fall, fall looking eyes. I am obsessed with this look. It is so simple. It might take you a little more time. I'm gonna be honest. It's not, you know, I'm not gonna be like two minutes or less, you're gonna look like fall perfection. No, it will take you a little more time, but I think it is so beautiful. It makes your eyes pop. It's stunning and it's perfect for fall. Like I can't stop looking at this look. I think it's so, so pretty. That mulberry color with the orange. The camera's not picking up the orange as much as I can see it in person, but it is so beautiful. While I'm here, I may as well finish off this look with my lips. I'm gonna go with the brown. I'm gonna go with a brown, uh, but kind of like a cool brown. So we're gonna line our lips with the Gucci lip liner. This one is in the shade 01. It is a nude color. I love this because it'll, it is a lip pencil, not like not a twist up, so you can continuously sharpen it, so that does kind of justify the price. 
which I don't remember this being too outrageous, surprisingly enough. This next color I'm going to go in with, this is an actual lipstick. It is from Juvia's Place. This is a really, really good brand. It is not as high-end expensive as, say, Gucci or Natasha Denona or even Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, Juvia's Place, I believe this is like $14 a tube, which isn't the cheapest, but it also isn't the most expensive. And the quality is solid. This one is in the shade Toffee. Packaging is super, super cute. Love the packaging. So clearly with the Juvia's Place color, I just hit the outsides of my lip and I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty. This is her cream lipstick collection in the shade Empress and we're going to see what it does on the center. Ooh, I like that. That's beautiful. That's a nice cool fall lip as well. Kind of nude, but also has that nice touch of toffee. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, guys, so that is it for our fall orange, burgundy, fallen leaf. Stepped on my little children playing look. I am obsessed with this look. Let me know if you recreate it. Seriously, like tag me, shoot me a DM, send me a picture. I want to see, I want to see it. All right, now we're all dolled up and uh, I'm gonna go vacuum. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. It is always so fun to hang out with you guys. If you haven't already, I would love it. If you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family, all things happy, all things positive, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.